100, 100, 100. That's not how you say it in German. That was a horrible pronunciation. <laughs> anyway, hello, this is Zombo Skater. Welcome to Zombo Land Gaming. We are playing Undermine. This is a special bonus video for the weekend. Continuing off where we left in our Season 1 Undermine series. So technically, this is episode number 17. But I wanted to put out an extra video for this weekend just to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for everyone who has subscribed over this past month. And uh, we've hit 100 subscribers. Yes! What an awesome place. I know I know it's not much. I know it's not much. 100 is not a big number, but to me, it's huge. It is monumental. It is amazing. And I thank you guys so very, very, very much for that. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into today's video. It is season one, episode 17, Undermine. Today, we have beaten the second boss. We have uh, died instantly in the second video due to having low health after beating the boss. And uh, we now currently made our way down to Dungeon 1. And in this video, I'm hoping we get down to Halls 1. Uh, or not Halls 1, but Halls 4. And at least get a chance to take a look at what the third boss is. And, you know, maybe see some new stuff along the way. We haven't been able to explore uh, any of the Halls together yet. So this is going to be pretty good. So, all right, here we go. We are in Dungeon number 1. We have uh, four curses on us because, you know... Yeah, uh, we don't have crystal bombs, so we can't get to that. I'm not going to break the spikes because I don't have break spike boots and I can't get across to that. So this is a waste of a room. Don't have crystal bombs yet, so we can't go up there. <laughs> nah. Oh, a lot of guys that set me on fire. Oh, God, and lots of things. That, okay, let's get you guys all in the middle so that way I don't get caught on fire by everything. This is pretty awesome. I love this thing. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Can this guy please come down to us? Oh, dang it. Hey, hey, my dude, my dude, come down here. Yeah, got it on the backstroke. Uh, we have 26 keys. Oh, that's right. We used a, um, we used a, uh, potion that swapped our items around. I thought it was gonna swap our relics down here around, but instead, we have no bombs. But instead, it, uh, yeah, it swapped our keys and our bombs. So now we have a load of keys and zero. Okay, so this, I, I like this um, pickaxe. Not pickaxe, the, the, yeah, yeah, the pickaxe, the thrown pickaxe. But at the same time, I forget that I need to bring it back to me. I, I just naturally expect it to come back. And it doesn't. You have to right click to uh, bring it back to you again. Whereas, you know, regular, regular throw, it just comes back to you naturally. But on the same note, I can make it come back to me faster, which that's kind of cool as long as I remember it. Oh, man, look at this. Negative 11 on our max health now because we've killed 11 enemies. Oh, God. Oh, God. I walked right into that. But it does seem to have a little bit of penetration power, which is pretty cool. I like that. It's this curse right here. We got this from Shogul. Throw a Whirling Blade of Death. And it's actually pretty good. Hey, what do you got in the shop for us, lady? Oh, yeah, all the expensive items because we have increased co shop costs from this right here. You know, we haven't found one curse remover and or an altar. Uh, yeah, we'll take this with us. Oh, that's spending all our money. Wow, 432 bucks for a key? You can, you can go right to hizzy heck. Oh, God. There's so many enemies in here, it's not even funny. Oh! See, once again, I forgot to... to uh, did you get... Oh! Parkour! Wow, look at all the gold in here, though. So much gold. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, don't get hit by the... Don't you even think about... Don't, you, you little... What the heck? <laughs> all right. Going out the exit, apparently, or the entrance. All right, down to dungeon two. That was a pretty fast uh, level. Da -da -da -da, going down to the mines. So how was everyone doing late at night on this? Uh, well, Sunday for you guys, Saturday for me. How was your Saturday? I guess. How how was your? Have you been having a great weekend? Do you have to go back to work tomorrow? I sure hope not. 
I have to go back to work, not tomorrow, but you know, as of this recording, the, the day you're watching it, I will have to go back to work. And I don't want to. I'm enjoying this too much. Oh, dude, I didn't realize it does that. Oh, oh, we just learned something. So if I leave it there and the guy's just there, it continues hurting him. <gasps> we just learned a new game mechanic. Ooh, meta for the win. That is not, I'm striking the flame thinking it was a gold. Oh, we just learned new game mechanics. Nice, which is like this guy right here. Yes! Okay, so that's gonna work out for us really awesome. Oh, look at, oh my God. Oh, that works so well. Oh, we likes, we likes a lot. Okay, this pick, this pick, throne pickaxe thing just became so much better. This is walk on oil and poison, right? Yeah, walk on oil and poison. This right here, so, um, galoshes, walk and jump on oil and poison. Cool for all of the levels, except for the final boss, uh, level five boss because he sets everything on fire so when you jump watch see i make an oil spot and because the guy sets everything on fire yeah you're now walking on fire so it's not good now if you have both the walk on fire boots and those boots sure no big deal right no no problem whatsoever Okay. Wow, these keys are so darn expensive. It's not like we have to buy them anyway. We don't need that either. We'd rather have the drop uh, drop things. Look at this sneaky gold sitting up here behind my uh, my curses. Okay, let's find the maximum distance. Oh yeah, look at that right there. Oh god, oh god, oh god. There's too much going on. At least this room's big enough that we can deal with this mimic chest. Uh, otherwise, this would be miserable. Come on. Yes. Oh, look at this explosion of gold. Oh, yes. Give me all the gold. All right, one last guy to deal with. Look at that. Oh, that's so amazing. Oh, that's so baller. Oh, so perfect. Okay, we really, really, really like this throwing pickaxe now. Oh, I hadn't even thought about that as an option for doing this. Of course, you got to, like, figure out your your potential throwing distance before you do that. Oh, so, so nice. Whoa. Oh, God, everything's setting me on fire because of this thing. Oh, got to watch out. Oh, that was pretty cool. It curved around a little bit. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Even if we don't get very far in this video, we learned a new game mechanic, and that is kind of what this series is partially about, is learning all the science and stuff and things about this game and learning it together so we can pass it on to other gamers. Oh, yeah. Ba -da -ba -da, picking up all the gold. Hey, we're uh, partially to level three. Um... Okay, let's go ahead and waste a bomb here. And another bomb. I'm out of bombs. Oh, this chest better have a bomb in it. And it does not. It has an armor point, though. But that we immediately lost when we hit the spike. <laughs> oh, oh, God. And now we don't have bombs to go up there and, uh, and, and do that. <laughs> what a doof. All right, level frizzles. Nice is we don't have to worry about the boss this time around. We can just go right past. Whoop. Whoop. Nice. Look at that. Oh, that's so great being able to just dismiss those flying guys. Okay, no, you don't. I can walk on po uh, oil and you can't walk very fast. So, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, now we get a bomb. Of course we do when we don't need it. I swear, there's Murphy's Law in uh, video games. Okay, well, we got we got an archer, but let's get rid of the uh, flying dudes first. Oh, I almost stood on the uh, spikes. Okay, now we can take care of the archer. That's so sweet. Oh, that's so awesome. Look at that go. Oh, that is so awesome. I just can't get over that. 
I don't know how I hadn't figured that out yet. Oh, what the? Oh, he teleported me. I forgot that they do that. Get out of here, you stupid poisoning dudes. Okay, let's try and get this guy. Look at that. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, God. I, I just, I, that, that is going to be my only comment this entire video. That is the awesomest pickaxe ever, like, totally. Oh, we're not, bro we're not bromish anymore. I can't talk like that. Arthur. Is that a V? That's a V. Is that a U? I don't know. It looks like a V to me. Arthur. Okay, we got the shop down here. Let's go spend some money. Fortunately, we have pretty good health, so we're not so worried about money like we normally are. Um, no, no, no. We'll buy the bomb. We'll save our money, I guess. Okay, not bad. Didn't have to spend too much, which is good. Okay, oh, all right. This is going to be a gold chest. Please don't be trapped or a mimic. Nice. Gold rain down on me. Moving on. Actually doing pretty good for uh Okay, let's go take care of these guys first. Oh no no no! Oh, oh, oh. Did you see me I almost fell in the void there? I don't know how I did not fall in the void. Oh I, oh dang it, he teleported me. Oh, don't you shoot me. Don't you poison me. Okay. Two down. I wish I could get this guy to fall in the void. That'd be very nice. Sir, can you fall in the void, please? Good night, sir. Okay. Uh, is there sneaky gold up there? There is not. Let's get a relic. And then we'll go check out Black Bunny down there. Free food at the shop. I likes it. We will go back and get free food right now. Actually, we're going to go see Black Bunny first. Ah, tasty beverage. What do you got for me, Black Bunny? Nothing that I want to buy. Let us go ahead and sell you a uh, sell you a relic. Uh, we like that one. We like this one. We like this one. We like that one. We'll probably get rid of this one. Actually, yeah, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this one. We usually don't use bombs when there's uh, other enemies around anyway, so... Yeah, yeah, that gives us some more money. How much are we going to come out with? We're going to come out with 4,000 smackaroos. I like it. And let's go get our last piece of free food from the shop. Oh, there's food over here as well. That is pretty awesome. Let's go see what free food is sitting over here. We might not have to spend money at the shop. That would be really good. Um, You know what? We're not going to waste money at the shop because everything's so darn expensive. Look at Do you see this? Watch. Look at that. Do you see that gold sitting there? It's hiding behind my curse. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky gold. But I found you. I caught on. I know what's going on. Time to go down to the next level. Uh, why am I doing that? I'm in a really good mood. I like it. Found a bomb. Thank you, sir. I needed a bomb. Sorry, I didn't mean to break your head off. As Busta Rhymes would say, break your mother effing neck. Okay, relic. That brings up a good question. What kind of music does everyone enjoy? So I, I have loved music my entire life, and when I say I love music, I mean I have studied uh, music in school. And I've, I've gotten classes all over the place. I have mainly played string instruments most of my life, mainly guitar. Uh, and uh, and I, I, I just kind of, man, it doesn't matter what genre, I have to study everything about it. It's one of my special interests, as I like to say. I'm big into theory. I'm not very good at playing lots and lots of music. I mean, I can, I can hold my own, uh, you know, with, with certain things, but ow! Ow, I'm way down here now. Oh God, oh God. I'm on fire, wasn't paying attention. Stop, stop talking about music and pay attention. Oh Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, 
Okay, we'll talk about music in a second. Uh, healers, I know you're making kind of music, but this is not the music I like. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, all right. Yeah, so uh, I, I study music theory. Uh, I went to school for musical orchestration. Not that I got a chance to actually utilize it in my life. Um, and like I said, I, I mainly only play stringed instruments. So when it comes to knowing how to play other instruments, oh God, if you want to see something funny, put a saxophone in my hand. <laughs> I cannot play anything with a reed to save my life. Um, but I, I, I do enjoy orchestrating other instruments. Uh, you know, I'm well versed in and what instruments should sound like. So I, I do like to play around with orchestration uh, right now because I don't have you know, anybody in my life that plays all those instruments. I have to you know, do it all computerized, but I do very much greatly enjoy it. And that's something that I might be bringing to my channel uh, here in the future is going to be me producing music. Uh, it's gonna be either through Ableton or FL Studios. Um, I'm, I'm not very good with drums whatsoever, so all my drum beats have to be uh, synthesized, basically. But it's fun. I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the point of music to me. It's kind of like video games. It's all about fun. There's no reason that anything should be stressful, over-demanding, or that sort of stuff. And it's just one of those things that I so, so thoroughly, greatly enjoy. That if I can bring just a smile on somebody's face, even if it's the most silliest basic song I've ever written in my entire life, I would love to bring that to you guys. My channel, actually, the older videos on my channel here, some of you may have noticed, are actually music uh, from, like, a long time ago, before I actually went to classes and schooling on it. Um, and uh, since then, I don't songwrite anymore. I haven't uh, written any lyrics or poems or anything like that. Uh, it's all been... Really? Wow, no bombs or nothing? It's all just been uh, acoustic, uh, fingerstyle, kind of percussive guitar. Which I, I greatly enjoy. It's just such relaxing music. But I mean, I dive into jazz, I dive into blues, I dive into rock, and primarily my listening stuff is heavy metal of freaking all sorts. Mainly metalcore, to be perfectly honest. Like my my newest uh, my newest musical obsession is freaking Eskimo Callboy. If you haven't heard of them, it's like dad rock meets trap music meets. Crab core meets metal core. Um, it is all over the place. It is amazing. If you haven't seen their song Hypa Hypa, it is a very, very amusing music video. Highly, highly am amusing music video. And it's just a, it's just a dope song altogether. Thoroughly enjoy it. But I think uh, my, my main top bands right now for music that I really listen to a lot of and own everything by the bands. Uh, for current, current musicians, mind you, not ones that are, um, oh, here, we'll get this guy to drop down, if we can, without killing him. Yeah, see right there, boom, he goes into this, and the only way to get rid of him, uh, this way, is to blow him up with a bomb, and or wait for him to respawn and hit him again. But yeah, so periphery, per I own everything. If it's, if it's a single song, I own it by periphery. I absolutely, thoroughly enjoy periphery. Uh, and then um, fire from the gods. Oh man! If you're not a supporter of Black Lives Matter or um, d just human basic rights in general, you probably aren't gonna like fire from the gods because obviously it's a group of black guys, uh, well black and white guys. But most of their songs are about dealing with the crap that is in the world today, uh, especially with systemic racism and whatnot. But just powerful, powerful lyrics. They also have a lot of songs that just deal with uh, mental health and whatnot, and just a great all-around band. They're kind of, they're kind of more. Um, I'm trying to think of who they sound like, in my opinion, because they've got their own unique sound. But they're just awesome. They're just absolutely awesome. I would highly recommend them. And then um, Ginger, J I N J E R. If you don't know them, it's a female-fronted band. And she just has the voice of an angel. I mean, not only is her, like, sung... I don't, I don't know how you want to call it. She has screaming vocals, but then she also has, like, you know, beautifully sung vocals. And, man, she can go from singing like an angel to growling better than any dude I've ever heard growl before. It is just absolutely phenomenal. I would highly recommend them as well. But those are, like, my, my three main bands. And, of course, I listen to, like, Sleeping with Sirens and... Bring Me the Horizon and uh, Falling in Reverse and like all those kind of bands, but 
And then on my record player, I listen to a lot, a lot of jazz, Frankie Sinatra and stuff like that on my record player. It just, oh my goodness. It just sounds so much better on a record player. I can't listen to it digitally. Woo, all right, enough talking about music. Let's get back to the game. Oh, we're doing good. How are we doing on time, by the way? 20 minutes? Okay, cool. So we're actually making it through here quite well. Um, let's go back up and see. Oh, we didn't go to this room up here. Let's go get this free food and go up to this room. We were so busy talking about music that I absolutely just missed a room. I wish I had, do I have walking on air boots? Walk and jump on poison, break spikes, nah. Oh, we need to get rid of a curse too. Oh, oh, this is okay, 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 okay. So this is gonna be a mini boss fight. And this is, um, I don't know if we had a mini boss fight on uh, the dungeon level. I can't remember if we did or did not. Uh, it's been a couple videos ago. But this one is going to be three waves of enemies. And if we do, we open up the door and we basically bypass the boss and we can go down to the next levels. I think. I think that's this. Or is this the library? This might be the library. I don't know. You know what? We're going to fight. Let's go for it. We got this. Oh, you know what? Let's get rid of these guys. Oh, oh, oh. We teleported. Oh, come on. This is not going well. This is not going well. We're not paying attention. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, watch out for the bones. I'm trying to leave the electrified guys for last because they really don't do anything to me. Okay. Uh. Come on, we can do this. This is only wave one of three. Oh, no. Oh, drop some protein while we have the chance. Drop some protein. Okay, next wave, wave two. Oh, we got an armor point, nice, 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 nice. Wait, what, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, these guys, these guys are the worst. These guys are the absolute worst. Oh, the absolute worst. And we've got the worst, worst, uh, where am I at? Oh God, oh God. Oh God, oh God, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. We're gonna die, oh, I freaking died, oh. <laughs> oh, I was making so many mistakes. So that pickaxe is not good for that situation. Oh, you have to dodge these guys so fast. So we've, we we just found two new enemies we haven't seen yet. So this guy that's got the, uh, the, the lantern on a cane here, he's spawning in all these skeletons. So you can see both of these guys are at, at a time every few seconds or so spawning in new skeletons. And this little blade dancer dude down here, look at that. He disappears, comes back up right next to you, and just darts into you and just pushes you back and wails on you. Miserable. If you can jump away from his attack as soon as he pops up, you're pretty good to go. But, uh, wow, those guys are death. And because of my pickaxe, I'm waiting for my pickaxe to come back to me. I was, just, I did miserable there. All right, we're coming away with 5,400 few gold, which is pretty good. So let's go back up to the main hub. Well, we got a little chance to see some of the halls, which is good. And we're definitely going to be able to buy some upgrades, which is really, really good. So let's go ahead and buy this now. I know it's kind of a waste of money when I want to upgrade my health and stuff, but now we're going to be able to blow up those crystals. And let us go ahead and definitely increase our gold save. So now we'll end up having more gold as we come out. So see, we're up to 80%. So we basically got three more gold upgrades to go, and then we'll max out at the 95%. I don't believe we have any yeah we don't have any new uh crafty crafty things and we have no more money to buy anything so let us go up here i haven't shown you this yet now we've got our second item here we only got three more bosses to go before we open up this portal super exciting you know we haven't found this npc or this npc or the priestess yet there's three npcs still to find and the library book a book appears to be missing <gasps> Hint, hint, I gotta find a book. All right, guys. Well, that was pretty exciting. We, we, we did pretty good there. We, I mean, we got two big upgrades. So now we have our Echo Blast, which now we can blow up the blue crystals, which will then allow us to skip levels uh, when we go see the guy that lets us time travel. Well, not time travel, but uh, warp. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're sitting pretty good. Level six on our pickaxe now, level six on our throwing. Really awesome. All right, guys, that was great. I I, I want to say again, 
thank you so much for everyone that's taken time out of their lives to watch my 30 minute videos some of them have been an hour hence the other uh, the, the not hence but the satisfactory videos it's kind of hard not to make them that long but these ones are pretty pretty nice i mean because i get to those levels of the 30 minute video you know, mark it's pretty easy to make a cut there and i, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart once again for enjoying the content taking the time to leave a like or or leave some comments and subscribe and it means the world to me and i greatly appreciate it so i hope you enjoyed this uh, extra bonus video on sunday and i will see you wednesday for satisfactory and then next weekend for some more undermine so this is zombo skater saying ta-ta for now let's put the dog on our way out <laughs> ta-ta for now guys bye <laughs>